So now we're going to go to the third P, Brian. Okay. And it's called profits. That's old dollar signs, right? Right. So if we don't make a profit, uh, you know, gross without net is gross. Right. Yeah. I was taught that a long time ago by some of your friends. So you can have gross sales all day long, but if you have no profit, man, the gross is no good. So what, what, what are a couple of things you've done in the past to assure that you're getting the margins you need to get the net you need? Sure. Well, you know, that comes with, uh, you know, having, again, having these processes and systems in place to avoid, you know, not falling into that trap of not making money or even worse, losing money. Yeah. And so, yeah. you know, you've got to, uh, first and foremost, you have to have a clear understanding of your numbers. You need to understand how P&Ls work. You, you have to understand what it means to, to make a gross profit. Um, and so, of course, learning that is, is very important. You know, where, where do these numbers go? And then having uh, processes in place to ensure that you're going to hit your margins is important. Okay. Uh, for example, you know, we would audit it before we present repair work. We would audit the ticket, PARP, prepare, audit, rehearse, and then present, right? And that's something I learned yeah. from you, Gary, uh, yeah. which is a great tool. Uh, but, you know, we were doing it. We didn't call it PARP, but that's what we call it today. Uh, but yeah. it gives you that chance to look at your ticket and see what your margins are. You almost have to treat every repair ticket like it's its own itty bitty P and L and or profit and loss statement. And so you well, have it to is. Ensure, it is. It is. It is. And they all <laughs> yeah. add up. That's a great uh, way to a visual and a mental of what's really there. Each car is that, isn't it? That's right. That's right. Yeah. So during the uh, you know, the 20 years I was with Greg Sands. For eight of those years, we were partners on two locations, uh, and then he, he bought me out, and I went back to multi-unit for him. Um, but I'll tell you, um, you know, one of the key things uh, on our P&Ls is that when I would turn them in for my shops, generally mm -hmm. speaking, I'd be within five, five or ten bucks of what we submitted, we would print in terms of gross profit to what we actually uh, oh, would do okay. on the P&L mm -hmm. and that's through knowing your numbers uh, throughout the actual course of the month right yeah. so your weekly tabulating uh your total expenses that you have with these vendors O'Reilly's AutoZone CarQuest Napa right. your purchasing parts and I would we keep it in an accordion style file the alphabet one and, you know, so obviously uh, CarQuest would be under C, for example. And at the end of the week, I would run two tapes on each vendor. So I would know my total. Then I could mm -hmm. then I could look at what I spent on parts compared to my, and then go to my point of sale system and see what I sold in parts and instantly find out what my margins were. And in every payroll, you do the same thing with your labor. Those are the main two big wow, ones. Wow, yeah. Yeah. So that it's not like it's a, the month ends and your P&L, you get your P&L from your CPA uh, 15, 20 days later and it's this surprise. Uh, yeah. You should know going yeah. in what you're going to print. And you can do it. You can do it as, as much as daily if, mm -hmm. you, if you really want to go deep. And so we get into the last week of the month at either one of the two stores I was running and I would know what my threshold was in terms of give and take. And, uh, and what I mean by that is, you know, you know, we had a particular goal at the back then it was a sit hitting a 60% GP mm -hmm. and, you know, it wasn't, I wouldn't be satisfied turning in anything less, even as a partner with Greg, I still yeah. felt obligated to hit these margins. And so there was a lot of focus on that. And you, if you're really good, you'll know where you are throughout the course of the month. And if you have some making up to do, you know, uh, if you're trending in the wrong direction or if mm -hmm. you have a cushion, so to speak, to where you can make a few deals with customers in effort to make sure you capture every cell um, and still yet be able to turn in the desired margins uh, that you okay. have for your business.